Hi everybody, it's Mr. Justin here from the Hoover Public Library and I've got another story coming at you. Today I'm going to be sharing the three little fish and the big bad shark by Ken Geist. <clears throat> Once upon a time, deep under the sea, there lived a mama fish and three little fish. One, two, three. And their names were Jim... Tim and Kim. Now, the day came when Mama Fish told the three little fish, it is time for you to go out and make your very own home in the deep blue sea. So they did just that. Off they swam. Now, the first little fish, Jim, found a seahorse who was munching on some seaweed. And Jim said, Hey, that might make a good house. Can I borrow some of that seaweed? Sure, said the seahorse. Take as much as you can carry. So, Jim made himself a glorious and lovely house made entirely out of seaweed. Mm. And he had just settled in when there came a knock at the door. Oh no. It was the big bad shark. And he said, little fish, little fish, let me come in. But Jim was smarter than that. He said, not by the skin on my finny thin fin. Then I'll munch and I'll crunch and I'll smash your house in said the big bad shark, and with three big bites, his sand or his seaweed house was gone. And Jim swam away as fast as he could. Now, Jim swam all the way to where his brother, Tim, was working on his house. He was making a sandy little house right on the bottom of the ocean, made entirely out of sand. Oh, Tim, said Jim, the big bad shark just destroyed my house. Can I live with you? Sure, said Tim. So they swam in and settled down. But before long, there was a knock at the door. I bet you can guess who it was. That's right, it was the big bad shark. Little fish, little fish, let me come in. But they were two very smart fish. Not by the skin on our finny fin fins. <gasps> then I'll huff and I'll... That's, that's what the wolf says. This is a different story. <laughs> then I'll munch and I'll crunch and I'll smash your house in. And with one giant sharky bite, he got a mouthful of sand. Ugh, that was gross, but it gave Jim and Tim just enough time to swim, swim away. They swam all the way to their sister, who was making her home on the bottom of the sea in a nice, large, sunken boat made out of sturdy wood. Kim, Kim, help, help! The big, bad shark just destroyed both of our houses. Can we live with you? Sure, said Kim. So they swam inside to hide. Now, before long, there was a knock at the door. I bet you can guess who it was. That's right. It was the big bad shark. And he roared, little fish, little fish, let me come in. And together, the three little fish shouted, not by the skin on our finny fin fins. Then I'll huff and I'll, did I say huff again? I'm not the big bad wolf. I'm the big bad shark. Ah. Then I'll crunch 
And I'll munch! And I'll smash your house in! And he took a great, big, sharky chomp of the great, big, sturdy, sunken ship house. And <sighs> all of his teeth fell out. <sighs> and off the big, bad shark swam. He was never seen from again. And the three little fish, Jim, Tim, and their very smart sister Kim, lived happily ever after. Thank you, boys and girls, for checking out that story again. That was three, The Three Little Fish and the Big Bad Shark by Ken Geist. Now, um, that was part one of story time today. Now, there'll be another video of part two, and we're going to sing a fishy song. Thank you very much.